Hi, this is Evan from WCCF Tech, and we've got some interesting news regarding the Chinese Zen-based Hygon C86-3185 CPUs. YouTuber EJ Hardware, a Chinese tech enthusiast, recently ran benchmarks on two Hygon C86 CPUs, which are not available outside of Chinese markets. He put this against the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X to see the performance of the two different companies. Hygon, which is a company partially owned by AMD since 2016 through separate business ventures. This alliance with AMD allowed Hygon to access and obtain both the x86 and SOC IP licenses from AMD. These licenses allow them to create and manufacture chips sold in their prospective markets, which are mainly in the Eastern Territory. Hygon's C86 technology is a combination of 14 nanometer server and mainstream processors. This process allows for chips to have anywhere between 4 to 32 Zen based cores. Based on the combination of Hygon and AMD's technological advances, the C86 CPUs are identical to the AMD Ryzen and Epic processors. It is even said that the chips can be placed into an AM4 and SP3 sockets due to their design, even with some soldering to the motherboard involved in the process. With the launch of the Hygon C86-3185 in 2020, it has showcased a total of 8 first generation Zen based cores using simultaneous multi-threading or SMT. The base clock for the Hygon CPU is 2GHz and it can be boosted to as high as 3.4GHz and on board is 4MB of L2 cache, but there's also 16MB of L3 cache. In essence, the chip's design is identical to almost every aspect of the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. It also has a lot of similarities in design with the older AMD Ryzen 7 1700X, which was used in the examples in EJ Hardware's video, which will be linked down below. Both CPUs share 95 watt TDP levels, but what is amazing is the Hygon C86 has a 70 watt power consumption, which is why the Ryzen 7 1700X would essentially be more efficient. Tom's Hardware speculates that the YouTuber used the Hygon CPUs on a W550H30 workstation. The workstation offered two separate C86 3D5 models, adding up to 16 first generation Zen based cores, while the Ryzen 5 5600X utilized just six first gen Ryzen 3 cores, a 7 nanometer microarchitecture, and features a base clock of 3.7 GHz and boosts all the way up to 4.6 GHz. It also carries twice the L3 cache as the Hygon C86, but produces a TDP that is 30 watts lower than the Hygon chip. Since EJ Hardware appears to be utilizing a server-style motherboard for her tests, the frequency of the memory that was used was DDR4-1866. Using that particular memory performed slightly below average. Tom's Hardware also points out that due to the chips having to be sought out to the motherboard to be used, she was incapable of placing them in a more adequate motherboard, such as the B450 family. Her results of the benchmark show that their AMD Ryzen 5 5600X produced significantly higher single core tests from the Hygon chips in both the Cinebench R2 and R23 tests. However, when running the Cinebench R20 and R23 multi-core tests, the Hygon chips performed much better than the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. The PC Mark 10 test was the least surprising result, showing AMD Ryzen 5 chip outperforming the two Hygon chips by a wide margin of 59%. With the gaming tests, the Hygon chips showed decent performance as long as they were used in a two-fold configuration. Essentially, EJ Hardware proved that the Zen 3 based Ryzen 5 5600X is highly efficient with smaller core and thread counts and a less power-hungry TDP number. It is said that two Ryzen 7 1700X CPUs are the only real way of overpowering and producing better results than one Ryzen 5 5600X. However, the single-threaded results from her test do prove that the Zen first-gen cores outperform the Zen 3 cores regardless of the performance of the chips. China's focus is more on self-sufficient technology than high-performing processors. But what do you think? Are you interested in hearing more about the Hygon chips? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.